Continuing from the last video, what if instead of a pure number, you get a variable like this? t minus 1. Basically, you still follow the same process. Everything in the parentheses here, t minus 1, is going to replace every instance of x. So instead of f of x, you have f of t minus 1. Equals, parentheses, t minus 1 squared, plus 2 times parentheses, t minus 1, plus 1. We have to FOIL this part here in the parentheses, so that can be done separately down here. t minus 1 times t minus 1. Your first term is going to be t times t. Your outside term is going to be t times negative 1. Your inside term is going to be negative 1 times t. And your last term is going to be negative 1 times negative 1. When you simplify all of this, you got t times t, which is t squared. t times negative 1 is negative t. Negative 1 times t is also negative t. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And now you can combine the two middle terms. So on the next line you have t squared minus 2t plus 1. So that's what we're going to put up here. t squared minus 2t plus 1. Now for the second part over here. All you have to do is distribute the 2 to both terms. 2 times t is going to be 2t. 2 times negative 1 is going to be negative 2. And then bring down the plus 1. So now you're going to combine like terms where you can. There's only one term that's squared, so t squared just comes straight down. Negative 2t can be combined with positive 2t. They cancel each other out. All that's left now are the terms without variables. Positive 1 minus 2 plus 1 also cancel each other out because they're the same as saying positive 2 minus 2. So before you simplify further, your current answer is t squared plus 0t plus 0. Your simplified final answer for this question is just going to be t squared. Leave a comment below. Subscribing is free. Click the like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons for more videos.